Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bugger Designs and I've got a cute little treat pocket for you today. A little treat, it's not really even a box, it's a treat holder, it'll hold one or two candies. This project actually was shown by one of our Stampin' Up! Artisan Design Team members over on the Stampin' Up! Facebook page and I couldn't wait to make it myself. Um, of course, I've, I'm using different products, but it's really fun and I can't wait to show you how to make it. I am using the Festive and Fun stamp set. I've got several videos and projects for you this week using the stamp set. So make sure you hop back over to my blog and check it out. Okay, so let's make the holder first. I have cut out um, several pieces ahead of time. These three are from the nested essential dies. This is the largest rectangle. It's a stitched rectangle. You're gonna wanna cut two from your designer series paper. This is the Joy of Christmas designer series paper. And then one from Poppy Parade. Now the one from Poppy Parade, we're gonna score at half an inch all the way around, okay? So half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, and you got it half an inch okay now take your bone folder and burnish those lines really well all right and now take your scissors and just snip the lines and I'm gonna do them on the short side snip 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 like that okay and all we're gonna do is fold these into the sides like that. Now I'm gonna use liquid glue. Uh, it's very, very humid here where I live in South Texas. And this is just what I have found to be the best adhesive in my climate. You can of course use tear and tape. I put way too much glue on that end. We're gonna, we're gonna have trouble there. Let's wipe that off. All right. You can use tear and tape, you can use um, Stamp and Seal Plus, you can use liquid glue. All right, now I'm folding them in and I have these little closed pins to hold them closed, okay? We're actually gonna use a closed pen today on this project to hold on our tag. All right, one more right here. All right, that's gonna hold our box closed while it dries. I put a lot of glue today. <laughs> Feeling generous with my glue. Let's give it some time to dry, okay? While we wait for that, let's stamp our sentiment and our little bird. My stamp pad is over here on my other tray. I just filmed another video with it. All right, we're gonna stamp the sentiment, and this is um, from the same uh, die set, the nested essential dies, and it's the second largest banner. And I'm gonna stamp a little something for you with lots of love from me right on the bottom. I wanna leave enough room for my bird and for the closed pen to hold it. All right, so we've got that. Why don't I have my ink pads, you guys? No ink pads. All right, stamp the little bird. Now, notice I have cut off the bottom rubber of my ink of my stamp pad so that I can see exactly where those feet are. All right, and I'm gonna try to get it lined up as best I can. There we go, pretty good. I wanted him standing on those letters. Okay, let's color him. I'm gonna use Balmy Blue, and I'm gonna color just his face and his back wing. We're gonna leave the bottom part of him white. All right, and then I'm gonna take my Poppy Parade and I'm gonna color in the hat. Now, this is very, very narrow little images that you're coloring in. So I recommend just tapping the color. Just don't take your marker and drag it because it'll be too wide and it'll bleed out. But if you tap, tap, tap a little bit on there, the color will go in just right. All right, and then just a little pumpkin pie for his beak. All right, now we're gonna take, I have cut out two balmy blue. Um, these are from the Joy of Noel. 
um, bundle, I believe. I'm going to have a PDF for you guys, free PDF that will have the correct supplies <laughs> listed. For whatever reason, my brain just blocks out these names sometimes. And uh, I always say refer back to my PDF in case I am calling it the wrong thing. But they are balmy blue and I've cut two of them out and we're just gonna kind of put them off like that off to the side with mini glue dots. Okay, let's come back here. Hopefully we are dry enough. Now, on the bottom of these, I'm going to use tear and tape. Oh, no, my tear and tape also is missing. Somebody has stolen all of my things. That someone is me, you guys. Here it is. <laughs> that someone is me. I take them and use them in other parts of my studio, and then I don't return them. I'm my own worst enemy, I tell you. All right, so tear and tape. And then all you're going to do is peel off that backing and line it up here at the bottom like that okay see how that is and then we'll take this one i think these would be so cute as little table favors if you were hosting a luncheon or even a little a christmas dinner and these could have maybe like andy's mints in them for after dinner that would be really cute all right so you put in your little candy i just have a little lint candy in there a lindor um, in there and i'm gonna pinch it closed put that tag on there and take my little clothespin and i will link these clothespins they are from amazon there we go now let's add we've got to add some embellishments for sure i've got my ribbon my sparkle ribbon and I'm gonna tie my bow and we're gonna attach, we're not gonna tie the bow to the clothespin, that's too tedious. So just tie your bow like this. You can play around with those loops until you get it exactly how you want, okay? And then cut off your edges at an angle and then just get a little glue dot, a mini glue dot and stick that on there. Now I have one more embellishment I wanna show you guys. We have lots of adhesive dots um, in our catalogs, but sometimes I run out. So I pulled out my Real Red Pearlized Enamel Effects, and these are so awesome. They dry just like little adhesive dots. Now the only, the only thing I have to remember is to let it dry before you touch it. And it will take about, I think, 30 minutes or so to dry see how it's um shimmery kind of there not shimmery but iridescent okay there you go guys cute little table favors um i also think always about the teachers their little mailboxes these would be cute inside their mailboxes um maybe at work on someone's desk these would just make really easy um holiday treat favors and it doesn't cost too much to fill them all right make sure you click the link and go back, get that free PDF, check out my other two festive and fun projects, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.